What is environmental health? Well, it's a branch of public health that considers the health impacts of the physical, chemical, and biological environment in which we live. To put slightly differently, people working in the space, right, spend their time firstly trying to understand and identify, and then secondly, put preventative measures in place around any environmental exposure that can translate into human disease. So think about things like air pollution, think about water contamination, think about exposure to toxins, think about climate change. All of these are environmental health issues. And just so that you know, this channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. That's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link in the description below. And with that, on with the lesson. Now, exposure to environmental hazards can have short and long-term consequences or sequelae. So for example, you may, in a very short space of time, having been exposed to uh, fire smoke, have some kind of uh, respiratory problem or respiratory disease, or maybe even death. You may, over a longer period of time, because of exposure to lead contaminants, right, uh, develop cognitive disabilities. And that's particularly in children, by the way. Now let's talk about some of the things that we can do. What do people working in the environmental health space concern themselves with? What do they do, right? First of all, regulation. The government can put set limits with respect to air and water pollution and regulations around the use of toxic chemicals. Secondly, monitoring. Public health officials can put in place mechanisms to keep an eye on and monitor environmental conditions and to test for contaminants and any potential public health risks. Next, education and outreach. And this has really got two prongs, right? On the one hand, we wanna give people information that will empower them to make healthy choices and avoid exposure to contaminants or anything that might impact on their health, right? So we wanna give people information that they can use in that sense. I've recently finished reading Understanding Environmental Health. If you're interested in environmental health, I highly recommend this book. It deals with the subject matter in an absolutely beautiful way, easy to read, very comprehensive, highly recommended. I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video that you can click on, go and buy the book, read it today. Okay, on with the video. But we also wanna give people information that will empower them and encourage them to make responsible choices in terms of their contribution to pollutants and contaminants that'll affect themselves and the people around them. And finally, and there's no surprise here, this one stands to reason, research, right? We need to invest in research so that we better understand the relationship between environmental contaminants and human health. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Greg Martin. Stay and watch another video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make some comments if you'd like to. Don't go away. Don't do drugs. Watch your best. Don't change. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.